Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another demo review video. Today I'm going to be looking at the young man, the 17 year old from Romania of Lornix up against Entropic in the ESL Challenger Melbourne 2022 EU Close Qualifier. Now at the time of this matchup, Sprout ranked 21st in the world, Entropic were 32nd and this match took place in middle of July 2022. Now Sprout ended up losing the best of three series in the grand final 1-2 to two, but they did pick Vertigo and they had a very good performance, so did Lornix. So I thought what better way to kind of see what the one map in the entire best of three series they won was to jump right in to see what Lornix can do. Now, there has been a fair amount of distraction and noise being made towards ramp. So this might actually allow Lornix again to slow walk, to creep forward, to try and catch Forrester off guard. Just sleeping over towards that guardian position. Does he act by himself? Dry phase, creates the duel, goes down to 22 points of health, but that's the B site completely opened up. That's an excellent frag. Oh, hang on. There might even be more. Might even be able to catch mid just on the other side of the smoke on the drop down. Brings it back into a 2v2. And on low HP, he's continuing to put up more fights. A third kill even gets presented towards the top of Guardian. What a round this has been from Lornix. Now for Elian. Get the backstab in for the 1v2 clutch. Lordix doing work by himself out on B. And he might even be pulled even further into this round. Him and Slacks being the last couple. Lordix checking the backstab. Not seeing anything. So the inkling has to be, okay, rotate from Elian's. Got to be Guardian or from CT. And now just play the time. Just jiggle peek down on the angle. Don't offer up individual fights. Try and fight together as a unit. And even for Elian, he's just backing off. Lordix... A triple created going down towards that B site. Finds Sprout another round to add to the tally. A little bit more noise being made this time from Lornix. Puts the molly out towards the danger position. Towards the back of the site onto Mir. What an adjustment once again. And an opening man advantage gained to B. The CTs are going to have a run at this though. Lornix trying to see if he can play some anti-flash. Try and slow it down with the util from his teammates. Play close around that smoke. A slight gap in that left-hand side. Very ballsy for him to be this aggressive. Try and put pressure down onto that AWP that's getting a boost up just on the other side of that smoke. There's a slight gap to work with. Lornix doing damage and really doing everything in his power to drop that AWP. Get more aggressive in towards CT Sport and drop Forrester 2. Nickelback's the last one left. And Lornix is putting on a very good show to make sure that that AWP does not stay in play. That he just gets trapped in and around this Sniper's Nest and spawn. The Glock might even be able to find the triple. Nickelback is going to have a very tough time holding on to this AWP. 30 points of health. Lornix finds his 10th kill and drops that AWP. Forrester is just not peeking from this quad position. He's been holding quad for quite a few rounds, to be fair. Even Mir starting to think about relocating back over towards the generators. Lornix walking up again. Oh, he's just seen him, hasn't he? That's a good spot for information. He's not quite in an angle to get the kill just yet, so he'll probably need a little bit more support and try and get Mir as a further distraction. But obviously, that information can be relayed over. Molly down towards quad. Forrester getting forced out to the open, and they know that Mir is somewhere around the generators. This is just so much info to work with from Lornix. High advantage, looking to that Guardian position, flying through into the generators position to really closing in the distance between him and Mir, playing around the smoke. Mir to drop, Lornix to find three. Oh my goodness, he finds four. What is going on in this round? Well, Forrester is very aggressive this time around. Now, he's not going all the way down to peek out even further towards T-Sport. And what a timing that is from Lordix. And an adjustment onto Forrester, hardly taking any damage in return. Bloody hell. And now even working around the smoke on B. Mir gets caught on the other side. A double entry down onto the B side from Lornix all by himself. He is an absolute madman on this T-side. Even that re-smoke towards the stairs control will cancel the XE. Get that molly out towards the back of white. The spam going down to Forrester. Not a massive amount of information on that, but an opening kill. And now Lornix just working around the smoke. Mir on the other side, trying to see if he can catch a timing. Trying to hug the left-hand side of that smoke. Elian on rotate as well. Lornix, how much does he find? Does he catch off Elian from the back of default? A lot of damage being done, but not quite the kill. Need some more utility. Mir being forced out of the open. And Lornix with another multi-frag entry towards that B site. He even crowd playing up towards Guardian. Not going to be the next one to drop. Oh, that is another unreal round. So three on A to start off the pestle. 
lot of footsteps coming down towards that ramp control. Forest are just getting deleted straight away. Slacks and Speedy involved into the action. Five on two before you can even blink. Now even out towards the B site. Entropic might not even be able to get the bomb down. Try and put the pressure on. Lordix in towards the site. Onto Mir. Multi-kill is eventually going to come in. So he ends up with two. Entropic get a bomb plant. And something. But overall, that was just a decimating round from Sprout. Now he can play towards a sniper's nest. Uh, 1v3. Going to be difficult now. Just hope and gamble towards A that they're going to come towards you. Try and make an info play. Aggress out. Mir for a moment was actually holding the angle quite aggressively. Lornix to deal with the first. That's already a start into the round. Elian on the other side with a bomb towards the tarps. Does this get dropped? Oh my goodness, it does. This is looking very likely for the clutch now because look at the HP of Crad. I got hardly any of it. Mac 10 towards the bottom of ramp and Lornix is just playing time. Repositioning, keeping eyes on the bomb. Thinking about Crad on the backstab, coming sniper's nest, elevator. And time is really starting to dwindle. It's all a matter of when Crad starts to pick up that bomb and starts making noise. Lornix is still very much keeping his eyes on that backstab. Crad starting to make some noise now. Has to come back over to that bomb control. And Lornix has got the info. Can play out towards the sandbags. Crad to drop. What a 1v3. A little bit quicker this time around from Entropic. Jeez, they actually might just be rushing this completely. Lornix being seen. Puts the smoke down. Just trying to buy some time. Allow those rotates to come over, play in and around his own smoke. Spam comes down, deals with Crad, and just when it looked like Entropic were going to completely send it, Lornix has done a very good job of just slowing it down, bringing his teammates into the fold and staying alive. Elian's now the last one left. Everyone just encroaching into this last play of Elian. 28 frags now for Lornix. Very good discipline on that protocol, not to overpeak and to use the util well. Forrester getting right up towards the bottom of the stairs. Mollied out towards that danger position, keeping his eyes on look towards that sandbags and actually refaces through. That's a lot of balls in that play. Oh, Lornix. Don't tell me he's going to regress again. He's going to double dip. He's going to get more out of this one. And now he has made it two in the round. 31 kills now for Lornix. And drops down. Continues to apply as much pressure as possible towards these beast airs. And the further he goes forward, the better chance he has of seeing that bomb towards T-Spawn. Mir and Crad the last couple, and here we go. Here's the bomb control. He's going to spot that on the radar, surely. Mir making noise. Lornix to find the triple, and it comes through. Sees that bomb. Crad now stuck by himself out in mid. What an incredible sequence this round has been from Lornix. Even for Crad, what do you do? How do you get back into this round? It's not easy. Lornix looking for the Quadra, and Crad might just give it up towards the top of the generators. Crad has been seen, and Lornix makes it four. Unreal. Aggressive play from both Lornix and Speedy over towards the Beast Airs. They lose A super quickly, though. I wonder if they just instant save. I mean, Lornix is still peering over towards A, but realistically, I don't think there's much in this round to follow. And 2v4, very unwinnable position. Lornix has aggressed very far forward towards the back of default. Mir towards the right-hand side with the bomb. The util usage is forcing him out into the open. Lornix makes it two, though, and makes this round winnable. Speedy still coming into the backstab, and the AWP is going to fall. Forrest, the last one left, eventually dealing with Lornix. What a triple that was from him. Nickelback's now the last one left. 20 points of health. Lornix to end it with 37 kills. Nickelback getting up towards the side directly. And Lornix to follow. 16 to 7. What a performance to come through. And my God, he just shined like an absolute star. That was an incredible performance coming through from Lornix. Really impressive. A lot of confidence, a lot of multi frags, good discipline. And overall, just individual skill on such a high ceiling. I can't wait to see what more we see from Lornix for the rest of the year because, my goodness, this guy is someone special. And if you want to see maybe more from Lornix or maybe you want to see more from Sprout as the year continues on, put it in the comments down below and let me know. And perhaps. I'll look at another Sprout demo, but that's going to be it for this video today. I'll see you next time.